Canvas. Who are you? What's your role in Canvas? Uh, Nick, one of the directors in Canvas. I am Kate, and I am in the logistics and decoration department. And I'm also a talent in one of the shows. Yes, with the Yes. Uh, I'm Tan Chai Hong and I play the role of Ashley in Yef the Scepter in Canvas. Uh, my name is Joey. I play Lily in Play Tree. I am Shin. My name is Robin and I'm the lead character in Play 2. I'm Eden Chong and I'm both comedy and I'm an actor in Play 3. My name is Moses Lai Chai Balanus. Aston in Dreaming of You, Play 1. My name is Dinesh Kumar. Don't call me by that name, you can call me Dean. The character that I'm playing is called James, and I'm the editor for the whole play. Uh, my name is Ian Z. My committee role, Logistic. I'm Sheena, and I will be playing uh, in Play 1 and Lydia. Uh, my name is Siri. I'm playing M in Play 4 and Lydia. Uh, my name is Kamaro. In play for so, uh, to you personally, right? what do you think Canvas is all about? Uh, to me, Canvas is all about love in general, I guess. Uh, from friendship to like family and friends and all that stuff. It's supposedly about four plays. We're displaying different types of love. I feel like Canvas means something different to different people. It's like with art, there's no one way to interpret it. Everyone has their own interpretation and that's that's what that's the best thing about it. Like there's there's many ways you can interpret it. I have my own version of it. But I don't want everyone to experience that one single version that I envision. I want everyone to have their own uh, interpretation of that story. They may connect it to something that happened in their own lives and it would be a whole different experience for them. I want each and every person watching our plays to have their own versions in their head, their own experience, their own way of, you know, feeling what we're trying to express. What do you hope to achieve with Canvas? Well, as I said before, I hope that more people get to stage play, get to drama, so that what well, the drama club gets bigger also, and yeah. Just do my best. <laughs> Bring the joy and love to the audience. So, if you had a choice, right, if we didn't cast you for this play and this character, which play would you be interested to act in? I like my play. <laughs> Maybe the first play because it's really straightforward. Easy. Play one as Lydia. Play four, yes? Play four. Play four. Because play four is very interesting since it involves the dancing. <laughs> play four. Probably a Lydia. Because I like fantasy plays and all that. Something that's out of reality, not normal. But what was one of your biggest struggles that you experienced? Probably dealing with stage fright. I don't really have stage fright, but then there's still the fear when you're performing in front of the audience that you fuck up. I think it's like, okay, to be honest, the script changed so many times, okay, that's one thing. Uh, but yeah, to be honest, it's like trying to get the character down to what I should really like portray the character as, and sometimes it's hard to like remember lines when it's just like added in. What do you expect, right, your audience to feel? What emotion do you expect them to feel during your play? Motivated to do the things that they want to do. Right. Uh, typical answer love, but like many different types of love. But, uh, I, know, I think it should be funny at some parts. It should be emotional at some parts. I mean, it's like I don't know. To appreciate the little little things in everyday life, especially uh, with the people you love uh, once once they're gone, because that's what makes them them. You know, one day you wake up, oh, actually, this this is the time where it's gonna be doing this and that. Tell us, what does love really mean to you? If there's like a story you want to share that's related to it, go ahead. Uh, to me, love is when you take time to care about yourself because firstly, mental health is really important and yourself is also very important. And also taking time to love someone else because you can't love someone else if you cannot love yourself. Love to me is like being able to wake up the next day and knowing that the person that you love and care about is like, either right next to you or is doing well, they're healthy, stuff like that. So why do you think love should be the theme? Why not any other theme? Why not food? Why not travel? Why love? Love is everything. And this 
and this is the first room. <laughs> you see, yeah, for example, let's, give, let's use the two examples you just gave. Food and travel. Food, we can talk about many things. There's food, Korean food, Japanese food, Malaysian food. True. Travel, you want to go to any countries. But love, it has many meanings. Love is not just one. You can say love is beautiful, but if you ask another person what is love, you'll say, oh, it's something bad. Love is something that, that cannot be explained. It's something diverse. You can't understand what love is. It's just, it's there. We have different meanings for it. So, when we're doing campus, as I said, Canvas is something that we portray and love is something that we can portray differently. So that's why love is something we choose lah, for this event. That's why I think it's very pivotal. Alright nice, that's it. Thank you.